Hi everyone, it's Robin. I have an altered journal that I wanted to share with you. I picked uh, this journal and a couple more like this up at Michael's back in the early, I guess it was early summer of last year and they were clearanced out so I'm not sure if they're even available this year. I've not been to a Michael's yet. I don't have one local to me. So uh, anyway, what I did was, um, let me just show you the inside of the journal. It's, it's bound with the uh, eyelets on the back and it is just a journal that's all it is but uh, sometimes that's all you need and that's actually preferred so what I did besides you know the glossy accents I added a doily as a base for the arrangement there and what I did to get the shape I just set it down onto the corner uh, and then I traced around this decorative edge there and then cut that out and glued it down and then this beautiful trim here is the rosette trim from Wild Orchid Crafts and it's the one that has the really pretty glitter or foiled edging on there and not sure if this is still in the store I've had this uh, well all summer and, and just a few months so I'm still enjoying it but all I did I took two of the rosettes cut off the tooling and then just kind of smushed them in um, up against these two trellis roses and the trellis roses are the mixed purple and lilac two-tone 35 millimeter and I've added some because of the foiling and glitter around the rosette trim I added some uh, stickles in let me show you what that is the crystal I think it is yeah the crystal stickles and you know also to this little white one here and this is just one of the uh, 10 millimeter open roses in white and so I wanted to add that just to kind of keep the continuity of the glitter and I think it looks so cute it's almost like a butterfly and I did actually think of making it a butterfly but um, just kind of didn't work out with the the pins and speaking of the pins I took two of the just the white stick pins and they're actually a good size I think like three inches uh, for the let me just tell you no about two and a quarter inches on these and I colored it with my sorry about the glare colored it with my pro markers in baby pink just to kind of give it a little softer look it was kind of a stark white and then this cute little cameo I absolutely adore I got that from my very sweet friend Michelle who's ink fairy and I know she has some numbers after it after it I want to say it's 11 I apologize Michelle um, well when, when I was in Ireland last month um, we were able to we met on YouTube and I had never met her in real life before but we got together and we had tea and just enjoyed several hours together just um, just getting to know each other it was a lot of fun and I really appreciate her and her friendship but she had brought me a rack and um, so uh, this was in there so Michelle you'll have to message me and let me know where you got that I'd love to get some more it's just really really pretty and I love I love cameos um, I've added some flatback pearls and 12 I think they're 12 millimeter flatback pearls for my stash on there I just added it with a glue dot and then this cute little heart I'm not sure if it's picking up really good but that really sweet heart is just a pearl one and they come in a pack like this on the website Wild Orchid Crafts and I'm I think it's in the wedding section actually so those are so cute and so perfect for Valentine's Day and I've added just a couple of feathers there and I think that's I think that's everything for right there um, up here is just one of the fantasy rose pink bows that are already tied all the work's done you get a hundred of those so um, they'll go a long way and then this is just a, a little butterfly pearl for my stash and I've added some stickles to that as well on the binding here or on the spine I've added my favorite guy pure lace and that looks like this and all I did was this this line right here on the back I just hot glued it and then I just kind of smoothed it over and then brought it around to the front and then added a strand of halfback pearls there so that is my altered journal that I made for my friend and I hope she enjoys it and I hope you've enjoyed seeing it uh, I will have the link to Wild Orchid Crafts in the info bar down below and I will have Michelle's um, YouTube channel in the info bar as well and I would encourage you to go over and subscribe to her say hi she's only done one video but I think if we encourage her she would I think she would make a couple more so um, anyway I will also have the Wild Orchid Crafts YouTube channel 
as well as the Facebook page links down below. So thank you so very much for watching and for all your kind comments. I truly, truly do appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.